This is the most overpowered run play in Madden 23. In today's video, I'm going against one of the glitchiest defenses in the game. What is that? That shuts down every play in my offense. Bruh. Except just one. If you want to see what unstoppable run play I'm using, that averages almost 10 yards a carry, plus an intense gameplay that goes down to the final seconds, stick around after the intro. The For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Now the offense that I'm going to be using today is going to be once again my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. I'm also going to be using my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook. This is pretty much the only two playbooks I'm using right now. Although I did just drop the 49ers offensive ebook, and the play I'm going to show you guys today is in both of them. So I've linked in the description if you guys want to check out any of that information. Other than that. My opponent today is using a really glitchy defense. He makes a ton of adjustments. I have no idea what all these adjustments are. But for the most part, it's a very shut down run defense. This is going to shut down just about everything that I put on the field, including a lot of my passing offense, except for this play here, the single back wing pair. Me and this formation go back a long way. There's really only two plays when it comes to the run plays. And that's going to be the inside zone and the halfback stretch is, is the star of this particular formation. Now, one of the reasons this formation is so good is it typically pulls the entire defense in the direction of the three tight ends. It's not voluntary. It's coded into the game. On this first play, for whatever reason, it doesn't do that to my opponent's defense. Like I said, he's got a super glitch defense but I quick snap it before you can get all that stuff in and on the first carry I get about 10 yards on the previous run play I only got five we're going to be comparing throughout this entire game there's some very good pass plays in this like the PA tight end seam which is a very good pass play and the PA X burst cross I'll show you guys some good setups so you're not just going to be you know running the ball all the time you can see on this next play that it does shift the entire defense to the three tight end set like I was saying but my opponent actually shifts out of that which is going to take away one of the biggest benefits of this run at whatever point in time if the defense is pulled in that direction and your opponent does not shift the defensive line back, just flip the play with the right stick and you're running to open space. I don't get to do that this entire game. That's one of the glitchiest things about this particular play. But because my opponent's constantly doing the exact same setup, I never even get to exploit that. And it's still a very successful run play. So on the next play, I was going to run the PA Experts cross, but I figured that it's only, I only need two yards and I'm having such success on the ground. I thought I could run for it. Nope. I guess I kind of over pursued there. I probably should have cut it back inside. So I get knocked back for a yard. That's the first time he's going to stop that. Then I guess on the next play, we're going to go right back to that PA Experts cross cross the setup is super simple you just have to drag the rb or the b route it really doesn't matter if you want to block the b route you can do that but i'm just going to drag this guy here first of all that the user because of all the run plays that i just ran he could, he's going to expect a run play most people are going to bite on that play action if i pause it halfway through every receiver's open including the running back which isn't even really supposed to beat man coverage that's typically supposed to be your zone coverage beater so that's just a really good pass play man or zone you can see you have three routes that are getting open over the middle i try to switch it up and go with other running formations i really like the single back dudes close i have a lot of really good plays in my ebook the pa expos cross is one play touchdown against every single defense in the game although i really don't touch on it here if you want to see me do a full breakdown of any of these other offenses like this one hit the like button let me know in the comment section and then the halfback wham it's a very good inside run but because of whatever my opponent is shifting and doing on the defensive side none of these other run plays work yep that's me you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. When I say that every single run play that I run in this game and every single pass play for the most part gets shut down, I mean it all gets shut down. Next up, we go to the stack wide flex. This is another formation I've used in a lot of different gameplays. I've links in the description. You guys want to check that out. The inside zone is a very successful run play, and the halfback drive wheels are a very successful pass play. Like I said, the run plays are not working. Nope. Because of however he's pinching, the way these cornerbacks are flying in off the edge because he's blitzing them all the time. All that stuff's getting shut down. Now, in the next play, I'm just going to run the halfback wheel, and it's a really easy setup. All I got to do is streak the B route and this Y route will get open against just about any single defense in the game including these man coverages that he's using although in the next play I'm not really sure what that was looks like he switched over to cover three and you can see we get a very easy completion for the first down outside of that we're gonna go we're gonna switch it up and we're just gonna hit this running back in the flat because he's running all these man coverages he forgot the user this guy and we get a very easy touchdown did he just moonwalk there <laughs> On the defensive side, early in a lot of games, sometimes I try to experiment on defense, and I was using a very experimental cover too, which my opponent is just gashing right at the gate. On the first two plays, he just busts this off for very big runs. No! Now, I wouldn't expect somebody to come out in the Chiefs and run the ball all the time, but that's exactly what this guy does. This is going to be a very run-heavy gameplay. Because of that, though, we're going to switch over to our number one run defense, which is the cover four quarters. He went right down the field on me, but this cover four quarters is going to shut that down. On the next play, you can see he's not getting much. Gets to a third and one, and then on the next play, we're just getting in there. We're getting a big stop. 
No! I'm not going to back for three yards. So on fourth and three, we go back to that experimental pass defense. <laughs> which was a mistake because he beats that right over the middle. Back on the offensive side, we're trying a lot of different run plays and we're getting nowhere. <laughs> on this next play, though, I can tell by the alignment that for some reason these cornerbacks just aren't in front of the receivers they're supposed to be covering. So I think I can just basically put this guy on a fade or a streak and get right past them. But for whatever reason, I don't know if I didn't throw the ball far enough or what. <laughs> But I throw an interception. That should have been an easy completion. And we're still hitting him with that cover four run defense. Like I said, this is the best run defense in the game. <laughs> On the next play, it's pretty good pass defense too as we get the containment sack. <laughs> Your ass down. And now that we got him on a third and long, we're going to try to hit him with one of the best blitzes in the game. The cornerback just comes screaming around the edge. He gets a quick throw off, though. That's one of the few issues that you can beat this over the middle. On the next play, we switch back to the 3-3 Cub. Another video I already put out. Like I guess I have links in the description for all these offenses and defenses that I've already put out. On the next play, we put all of our zones to the open side of the field, even though there's only one receiver over there. A lot of times, I feel like it's best to cover the open side of the field because that's where most people want to run their offense. We shut down this crosser. Nope. And then sure enough, he tries to force it. So we're going the other way. Patrick Mahomes gets done dirty. It's my quarterback. He's only got one guy keeping me from the end zone. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. We're going the other way for a pick six. So he's back on offense. On the next play, he just barely beats my hook zone. I get a lot of questions about coaching adjustments, and to be honest with you, I really don't change my coaching adjustments until I see something. On that play there, he just barely gets past my hook zone, so I set my hook zones to 15, and that's going to pay huge dividends later in the game. This looks just like the play he ran. This time, though, he floods the entire side, and he beats me underneath. On the next play, this 3-3 Cub is also a very good blitz which almost gets home, but instead it forces him to throw a bad accuracy pass. And we're going the other way again. If only I didn't get that sideline animation. And I would have had another defensive touchdown. Then with only five seconds left, we don't have enough time to do anything on offense. Yep. I keep hitting him with that cup for quarters run defense though, because I'm not going to let him pound the rock anymore. But this time he just barely gets outside of the zone coverages. On the next play though, we go back to cover two and that cover two has a huge opening right over the middle as he completes the third and long. Anytime I'm in the red zone though, I'm going right back to that cover four run defense. You're going to have to figure it out against this particular defense and he's getting nowhere on the ground. Then on third and goal, for whatever reason, I keep noticing that this outside hard flat is on the wrong side of the field. Maybe it's because of the formation. So I try to motion him over before my opponent snaps the ball, gets stuck on one of my inside linebackers. And then when I switch over, he just goes right Back. Where you going? I don't know why EA can't program this game properly, but I'm so concerned with that open flat on third and short that I use her in that direction and I just leave this receiver wide open. So thanks a lot, EA. <laughs> so back on the offensive side, we're going with the halfback stretch one more time. Game is tied. I'm trying to quick snap before he gets all these adjustments in just to give myself whatever little advantage I can get. And you can see we're still busting off big runs. Every single time I've called this run play, I've had success with the exception of maybe one run play. As we go from first down to first down, on the next play, he does so many adjustments that I think he actually gets a guy off sides and that doesn't matter because we're going to the house and we're going up by seven it didn't last very long though in the next offensive series he goes the other way with Clyde Edwards Hilaire and we're right back to being tied late in the fourth quarter 21-21. We're going to go right back to these run plays. We're going to go right back to this stretch play. He's still using the exact same defense. I'm still trying to quick snap him, and you can see we're just having success. And it's just consistent. Every other run play that I ran against his defense was getting shut down. Even there, I get an 8-yard run before getting blasted. You can see I'm averaging almost 10 yards a carry. On the next play, though, we only need 2 yards, so we switch it up to the inside zone. I see, since he's got that cornerback coming off the outside every single time, I just rotate this guy over just to try to pick up that cornerback. And for whatever reason, my linemen decide to block nobody as they just let two defensive linemen just in and just stuff me in the backfield on the next play i go with that stretch play one more time and once again my offensive linemen dumb out you can see there's three tight ends here doing nothing they have one guy to block and they just let him run right past so on the next play i see that exact same alignment issue that i saw before and i decided to try it again even though it's fourth and eight we try to make that pass i don't know why joe burrow can't get that ball out there a little bit better on the next play i'm still noticing that for whatever reason i have both of my curl flat players line up on one side which i don't understand why ea can't pro Program this play properly on the next play of course he beats me in the flat so i'm tired of this i'm gonna go and change my alignment to base even though i don't like doing that i just can't deal with it anymore it fixes the issue on the next play you can see we start shutting our opponent down again he's not getting anywhere on the ground on the next play he tries to run again and boom we're stopping him at the 42 which is no man's land can't kick a field goal from there so fourth and four we're dropping everybody back into vert hooks if you remember i did put my vert hooks at 15 yards i did not change it and on the next play this guy drops right into the area 
No! So, back on the offensive side with a minute 14 left. We're going to try to pound the rock down the throat. Once again, we have our three tight ends over here, and we have one cornerback to block. Can they do it? Of course not. He just runs right past them, which makes absolutely no sense. And then they can't block in a pass play either as I'm getting instant pressure on plays. I'm really just trying to take checkdowns. So I don't know if it's D.D. or my offensive line, but we're getting screwed on offense. So we have to punt the ball away, but at least we pin him deep. On the next play, he tries to whip that in. And once again, my 15-yard hooks make the play. And a coaching adjustment saved the day. So we're going to run the clock down and we're going to kick this field goal. I went back, charted all the run plays from this game. The stretch play that I was telling you guys about, I ran nine times for 108 yards, which is an average of about 12 yards a carry. Every other run play I ran, every other different type, inside or out from every formation, I ran seven total times and only got 11 yards, which is slightly better than one yard per average. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more offensive videos, more run play videos, be sure to be a subscriber, first of all. Other than that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.